In this week's Great Day Dining, I take you to North Hyde Park for a glimpse inside Rome and Fig, where the vibe is welcoming and the food is globally inspired and locally sourced. I'm here at Roman Fig Global Bistro, one of my favorite restaurants. The food here is amazing, so I really wanted to come in and meet the people behind it. Joining me now is one of the owners, Eric Zastan. Thank you for joining us oh, today. No, thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you. And so we are at your awesome bar, and oh, you served you. me one of these drinks here. Just tell me real quick what it is, that and I'll is take a, a sip. Fig and the Flower. It is our most popular cocktail. Does really well. Kind of a, a floral spin on a, a lemon drop martini. Uh, real refreshing, great for the summer, yeah. great for all times of year, but really for, for the yeah. summer especially. Yeah, well, it's delicious. So I just want to talk to you a little bit about the restaurant and what were, what were you going for? I feel like the vibe is very welcoming. Yes. What, what do you think? Well, that is exactly <laughs> what we go for. I wore my pineapple shirt right. for the welcoming feel. <laughs> uh, no, I think what we really wanted to do was have a, uh, a, a really good food-driven uh, restaurant. We do everything from scratch. Uh, kitchen's totally from scratch, but also have it be uh, really approachable. You know, I think a lot of restaurants, when they have that, you know, fancy food kind of thing going on, they're also kind of stuffy. Uh, waiters in, you know, ties and the full aprons and the jackets. Right. And they kind of make you feel like you better be doing things the right way or you're going to kick you out. And that's not how we do it here at all. We're, you know, we, we try to be really nice, but also very casual and friendly and really make you feel like you're part of the family from the minute you walk in the door to when you leave and really want to give you that feeling of uh, we can't wait to get back there. You know, so that's really what we go for here. Yeah, and um, a lot of people can walk here because North Hyde Park is really growing. We have yes, for tons, sure. of, tons of condos. So mm -hmm. what inspired you to build your restaurant here? Well, uh, I have to give my wife all the credit on that one. Really, we came here and said, wow, this would really be a great spot for, for what the kind of restaurant we want to open. You know, it, it's young, it's new, but at the same time, there's a lot of history here. Mm -hmm. So I, I really, it kind of captures everything we want in a, in a location. Yeah, so talk about like the open concept. We'll talk about the space for a little bit. So you can see the kitchen. Yep. Is that something that yeah, you I, were insistent on? Uh, it, I wouldn't call it a deal breaker, but definitely something I always like. I love restaurants that have an open kitchen, whether it's my restaurant or someone else's. Uh, I think for one, it gives you kind of a window into seeing how your food is prepared. Um, it, it develops a, a level of trust, I feel like, with the kitchen. And we welcome guests to go, say hi to the chefs, you know, compliment them on the food. But yeah, I think it, it, it's just a really nice idea. Plus, it does add to the look of a restaurant. You know, yeah. I think an open kitchen is really nice. And then the whole concept, we like, no, normally we'd have our garage door open over there and kind of an inside, outside feel. Um, and really just, you can see the whole restaurant pretty much from almost any seat, which I kind of like that idea, you know? Yeah. Because part of going to restaurants is the people watching. Absolutely. So it's, it's always nice to be able to see everyone from almost every vantage point. I like that. I like yeah. that you admitted that, because that is true. Oh, hey, restaurants, yeah. they, they are supposed to, uh, <laughs> you know, it, entice all the senses. So I'm sitting down now with Chef Ryan and we're gonna try some of this delicious food. So let's start here. So, so what's this? Absolutely, yeah. So I wanted to uh, feature four of our dishes here. Uh, we have two starters and two entrees. Two of the items have been on our menu since the very beginning and then two things that are a little bit more fresh and seasonal. Uh, here we have our uh, fried green tomato caprese salad. That's been on the menu for quite a while and it's one of our top sellers. So it's got uh, fried green tomatoes, fresh buffalo mozzarella, balsamic glaze, uh, micro basil, heirloom tomatoes, and a little bit of uh, truffle oil, which I feel like really sets it off. You know, here at Roman Fit, we really try to, uh, you know, focus on, you know, fresh flavors, seasonal things. Uh, I work really closely with a lot of my purveyors uh, on what's available and what's in season. I really kind of lean a lot on, uh, on my team, uh, the guys that I work with. I've tried to surround myself with guys that are passionate about food, and we really try to work off each other and, you know, bounce ideas off each other and, you know, see what works. And then just get feedback from our customers and, you know, what they're enjoying um, and try to, you know, work with that. Yeah. And so this was delicious, by the way. Is this one of your hottest sellers as far as appetite? Yeah, go. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's been on the menu for almost a year now, I would say, uh, and it's just been selling like crazy. So. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, so what do we have? Let's move on to the scallops. <clears throat> so this scallop dish has been on the menu now for a couple months, and it features our uh, carrot ginger puree underneath, uh, which is kind of really light. You know, you got your pureed carrots, and it's got a little bit of spiciness with the uh, ginger. And then underneath that, you've got some sautéed English peas with garlic and shallots, uh, some crispy pancetta, and some frisée. And then we use uh, U8 scallops, which are bigger than a lot of uh, a lot of other restaurants use. 
Uh, U8 meaning that there's less than eight per pound. And then on top, uh, we have a shrimp ceviche. So uh, a little bit of shrimp with some diced peppers and onions, a little bit of citrus flavor, and then uh, so the sauce is a beurre blanc. So um, a butter sauce, essentially. The nice thing about using the, the bigger scallops is that you can you can get that nice sear, that nice mm -hmm. crispy sear on okay. top without um, ending up with a really rubbery, you know, chewy scallop. It can still be really flaky mm -hmm. and tender on the outside, on the inside, but crispy on the outside. So it's delicious. Oh, I love this. You said this was carrot. Carrot, yep, carrot ginger puree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is our bone-in double-cut French lamb chop. It's a lamb chop that we double-cut, meaning that there's two bones, two chops in each lamb chop. And then we French the bones, meaning that we clean them up so they look really nice for the presentation. And then we crust them with uh, herbs. So we use parsley, oregano, sage, and uh, thyme. And then we put them on our flat tops to get that nice crust. And then underneath the sauce is a mint yogurt sauce. So you got yogurt with a little bit of mint and lemon juice, lemon zest. And then we serve it with uh, fingerling potatoes. So those are cooked in lamb fat, actually. Uh, they're, called, they're confit, which means they're cooked in their own fat. And then we toss them with some demi-glaze. And then it's served with honey glazed carrots and some spring on pearl onions. Well, thank you so much for having yeah, me in today. Absolutely. Thank this you for coming. This has just been a joy. Like I said, the food is amazing, and I haven't been able to drink my entire drink <laughs> during this, but now I plan to. So there you go. thank Enjoy. you. And to find out more about Rome and Fig in North Hyde Park, you can head to their website at romanfigbistro.com.